Hello there. In this episode of To The Point Code, we will look at how to set up movements between the screens of our Expo React Native application using React Navigation. This is the third part of our Expo React Native login series. So let's get started by visiting the official documentation and installing a few packages. So first of all, we install the native version of React Navigation. So we copy the command and head to the command line. Once the installation is complete, we install some extra dependencies. So React Navigation enables movement between our screens by making use of stacks. So let's say I have one screen currently being displayed and I request for another screen that is I click on a link to another page. The other page I requested for is just put on top of the current page that I'm viewing. So whenever I want to go back, the page on top is just taken off. That is how a stack works and React Navigation does that. So to be able to implement the work cleanly, we will create a directory and call it Navigators. That's where we will be keeping our stacks. Inside the Navigators directory, we will create our first stack and we will call it root stack. Now to be able to implement the stack that we are talking about, we need to install another package from React Navigation. So we copy the command and head to the command line to install it. Once the installation is complete, we can go ahead to start our application again. Now to get started, let's copy some code from the documentation. So we'll copy the two imports that we have here and paste it in the rootstack.js file. Also, we import React. Now, we use the create stack navigator to create a stack. Now, we create a root stack component. Now inside the root stack, we return the navigation container. Without the navigation container, our movements between the screens will not work. Now inside the navigation container, we use our stack here to create a navigator. Now this stack navigator will take the screens that we have as its children. So let's go to the app.js file and copy the screens imports that we have. Now we use the stack variable once again to create a screen. Now this screen will have a name and a component. So for the first screen, we'll call it login and pass in the login component. And we'll do the same for the rest. Now 
and once you create a stack navigator and put your screens in them, you automatically be given a header by the stack navigator. But in this case, we want our work to look as it is without the header. But before we can make any changes, let's display the output of our navigator so that we can see what to change. So inside the app.js file, let's import the root stack. Now we replace the sign up component here with the root stack. And so we can get rid of the screen imports. Now we have an error here because we didn't adjust the path to the screens in the root stack. We are supposed to come back a directory first. Now it looks like we have to restart the metro server before we can see the output of our navigator. So let's do that. Also note that in Expo React Native Development, you might face less challenges when you develop using the Expo Go app on an actual device. Now once we get our application to run, we see that the header we are talking about is displayed here. But as I said, we will change the style of the header because we don't want to display the login in the header. But we want to get access to the back button whenever we move to another page in the header. So let's style it differently. But if this is the look that you are going for, you can go ahead to keep it and make changes to it. So inside the stack.navigator component, we apply some properties. So we give it a property of screen options. This will take an object. First of all, we want to make the header transparent. Also, we want to adjust the color of the content of the header. So before we can do that, we need the colors here. So let's import the colors. apply the styles. The tint color will affect whatever we have in our header. This should be header style instead. Applying the header title, we get rid of the title in the header. Lastly, at the left side where the back button will be showing, we want to apply some padding. The application has closed but once we finish, we will open it again. Now the stack navigator can also take another property which is initial route name and this will determine which screen is supposed to show first. In this case, we will set it to login. Now let's open our application again. Now we see that the header is totally transparent and we see nothing at all. We only see something when we visit another page and the back button displays. Now inside the styles.js file, let's add some more padding to the top. So inside the styled container, instead of adding 10 to the padding top, let's add 30. Now 
Now for each of the screens that we have in our stack navigator, it will end up receiving a navigation object as a property. This navigation object can be used to navigate between the screens. So let's visit the login screen and set up our first movement. So we take it in as a property. Once we have done that, we can set up navigation for the login button. When someone clicks on login, we want to move to the welcome page. For now, we move to the welcome page without any form of authentication. We will do all that later. So inside the unsubmit function of the formic component, we will use navigation here to move to the welcome page. It has a function on it called navigate and will pass the name of the screen to it. In this case, it's welcome. Now we'll do something similar for the sign up text that we have here. So let's copy the navigation to navigate. So we pass it as a property to the test link. We will use the on press here. But this time around, we'll be going to the sign up page. Now let's try it out. When we click on sign up, we see that we have moved to the sign up page and we have our back button here. Now when we click on login, we see that we have moved to the welcome page. Now there's supposed to be a back button here, but we set the color of the header content to be dark. So let's adjust the color of the header content for only the welcome page. We will do that in the rootstack.js file. So for the welcome screen, we'll pass some options. This will also take an object and we'll pass header tint color to it, but this time we'll set it to primary. Once you do that and move to the welcome page again, we see that now the back button is showing and it is white. And this is exactly what we want. Now we want to set up the navigation on the sign up page as well. So let's do that. Now for the value of the button on the sign up page, I forgot to change the text to sign up, so let's do it now. Now let's go back and visit the sign up page. We see that that is working as well. Now when we click on the logout, we want to go back to the login screen. So let's set up the navigation on the welcome screen as well. And now we see that that is working as well. So we've been able to set up movement between the screens of our Expo React Native application using React Navigation. In the next episode, we'll see how to connect our login frontend that we have here to a backend API. And that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.